I told myself I was gonna do the upper control on first. Don't ask me what happened. <laughs> That right there was a three hour delay just to get the right nuts. Ultimately, I had to go all the way to Mount Vernon, which is quite far just to get some nuts for this car because when I was going to start the install, the nuts weren't the right size. So I went back to my local hardware store and told them that they gave me the wrong size. I thought all was said and done. But this right here is ultimately what I needed, only four. And it took three and a half hours to actually get. But in the meantime, I got some washers as well that was much needed. So without further ado, with no more traffic to having to deal with, let's begin the build. Well, let's begin the rebuild of the 350Z. <laughs> to my channel it's your boy Eddie I hope you all are having a beautiful day today because right now we're gonna be jumping into the 350z and finally finishing the front end build yes as many of you know it's uh, been taking a lot of my time a lot of my days off a lot of hours to complete the whole task but we are finally done I think today is the final day as you can see here I brought in a lot of the material that's needed to do the big brake kit we got the rotors, we got the calibers, we got the conversion kit. Yeah, we got everything that we need there. But for the suspension, we finally got in some new bolts. Or I should say new nuts. Boom. Alright. Because the ones that I have here are rusted and they're, they're not good. And at the end of the day, they got beat up because the ball joint kept spinning. And even though I had a pride in between, it was still a hard battle. So, um... Uh, yeah guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this one. Basically all of them, even the subframe ones. So, yep, let's get to that now. Just to recap, we did the hub bearing on the last video. In case you didn't see it, I'll put a link on there. We tightened up everything to torque. The hub bearings down. So we're pretty much good to go. It's all greased up. Just gotta now slap on the rotors, calibers, bleed the line, and tie up all the suspension components which is gonna be one, two, three, so that's not bad. Oh, and I also installed some Zerk fittings. I made a quick video about that, or I put it into another video. I'll show you guys how to do that as well. I'll put a link in the description below, or a little card over here in the corner or something. But yeah, that'll allow you to grease up the ball joints whenever needed. That way they can have a long lifespan. So, yep, she is brand new with some high grade synthetic grease, so she's looking good. They're all looking good. I even did it to the radius arm as well. Boom. Oh, and I did this little thing that always gets rusted. That thing looks nasty when it's rusted. But guys, all right, enough talking. Let me start to get to work. There I can finish this task. Yeah, let's finish this up. That way I could get to my errands and uh, yeah, have a successful day and finally hit the gym. All right guys, so number one tip if you're doing this install, is whenever you get to the ball joint, if it is a spinning ball joint, say you're trying to tighten this here with the nut, but the ball joint keeps spinning itself, wire brush it before you go back to the install. That way it can make it a lot easier for the actual nut to slide right up. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Hit it with the wire brush real quick, all of them. Job to take it off? No, I just actually just finished doing mine. All right, guys, so let's see real quick if we could put on the nut without any rotation of the ball joint. Because if so, we 
You did a good job. Hey, look at that. Still going, still going, nice and loose. All the way up. All right. Look at that, boys. We're good. I like that. Yes, I do. Awesome. All right, so let me finish up by doing the ball joint. I gotta tighten that to 100 foot pounds. So luckily this one doesn't spin. We're good to go there. Ah, 100 foot pounds. Woo. That's a good one. All right, let's go over to the other side. Also guys, if you have this issue, another thing that you can do is get a lock washer like I did. That we could create some tension, as you see there. That right there may help you out a little bit. Damn, that looks so nice. Oh, don't mind the glasses. The reason I'm wearing my glasses right now is because I overfilled it with a lot of grease. Because this sucker was a little on the dry side. All right guys, so she's coming along right there. 62 foot pounds, in case you're wondering, just for the sway bar end length. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the brace underneath and also put the radius arm here. All right guys, so just so you can see a little up close and personal as to why I actually do that, is so that aside from the ball joint spinning, it cleans up the rust in between with the wire brush. As you can see there, that is after. And this one here is before. So as you can see here, this will definitely spin as I tighten it. But this one, it'll allow the nut to go on more freely, allowing me to execute a good torque. So yeah, guys, definitely if you have any ball joints that spin, first clean up the spindle, clean up the threads, remove all the rust. That way it can slide on nice and smooth. And also, it'll look like you re-threaded it as well, not for nothing. So yeah, guys, definitely clean up your ball joints threads if you can. energy suspension so everything that the rubber will come in contact you have to loop up look at those threads how nice they look i don't even know if you guys can see it from here i personally like to put an excessive amount so that's why i bought this big jug over here because I don't want no squeaks at all. But right now, man, let me tell you, this lock, this lock washer, it's the real deal. So if you ever have a spinning issue like I had in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, I'll definitely put a link below where I had that issue. But yeah, man, this is working out for us. Alright guys, so being that I'm already here, what I'm going to do is just put the tie rod in, in just a little bit. That way it doesn't rotate as I tighten 
the, um, the nut up here, the upper control arm, the radius arm bolt. Yeah, and then I'll tighten that later on. But I just want the flexibility, that way I could do the brake lines and everything, nice and neat, without having to worry about going inside and turning the steering wheel, coming back and forth. I'd rather just leave this entirely loose, that way I can rotate it myself. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and actually release some of the grease that's in the ball joint because I don't want the ball joint to the ball joint boot to break just because I put too much grease in it. So I'm just gonna relieve some of it. Relieve some of it real quick. Mm, it's not that bad. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Ew. Good, good, good. So being that my camera died right now, oh, what is that? Spiders. Being that my camera just died right now, unfortunately, I'm gonna go ahead and put up the brace right under here, but also I'm gonna tear down these heat shields Cause when I'm driving they make a lot of noise especially coming off like first gear so I'm just gonna start ripping these bad boys apart all right so let's see what's going on here what's this all right guys so just so you can see my exhaust pretty bad extremely rusted thankfully the pipes don't have any holes but these heat shields are gone I kind of don't want to just tear it down because then I might have little pieces to take off. So I'm just letting the rust work for me right now by taking it off its little rivets over here. So yeah, it's going to take a little moment. Look how clean that looks already, oh my god. Can I show a before and after? This is before, all nasty, and then this is after, nice and clean. Look at that, how nice that is, Ooh, so much better.
Holy shoot. So I have this little brace right here and it's mounted to the transmission. Also mounted to the exhaust on both sides. So, yep, you see that? And it's supposed to keep this, you know, bound. But let's uh, take a look what it's doing. Oh, oh shit, look at that. It is not even connected. But it is so sturdy because it's mounted to the transmission. So, is it really doing anything for the exhaust? No. Maybe just holding it up from it going out, but I don't know. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Rusty car problems, let me tell you. So, anyway, I'll move on. Let me just take this last one off and I'll resume the suspension. If it doesn't want to come out one way, it's going to come out the other. Got to be careful with the O2 sensor. So being that this brace right here, this brace right here, that's attached to the exhaust or what's supposed to be, uh, this one right here just will be a little clearer. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove it because at the end of the day it's not even bolted on and I could feel like it will make some noise, some type of rattle. You see that? And that's a light tap. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take that off. Ooh. Breaking a sweat over here. All right, guys, but yep, I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off real quick. I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter because at the end of the day, like I said before, both sides are broken, so it's not even holding the exhaust. And at the end of the day, it could definitely make some noise while driving. I mean, that was just a light tap that I just showed you, imagine. So. Yeah. But alright guys, let me just tackle this real quick and then I promise you we're going to get to the suspension. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those screws there and just take off the brace that way in case I ever need to put it back for another exhaust that's rude sorry <laughs> I'm actually gonna just leave the bolts there just in case I ever need to put it back for aftermarket exhaust but for now I'll just go ahead and take off the bracket for now and leave the bolts there because if I ever need it in the future I'll be able to just know where the bolts are and all I have to do is bolt it up one two three let me just take this bracket out of here throw it in the back for future use if needed. But. All right guys, so right now it's about that time where I have to run some errands, so I'll be right back. And uh, then we'll continue the suspension and hopefully I'll be able to finish everything tonight. All right guys, so check out the weight reduction we have going on. Not for nothing, this one's a little bit heavy, but yeah. All right guys, so right now it's a little late in the day. Of course, my errands took a little longer, well, a lot longer than expected but at the end of the day I'm gonna go ahead and put on this here a crossbar that we can finish up the suspension tie everything together god I wish there was more hours in the day let me tell you it's like whenever you have a day off you have so much to do that it's like you want to dedicate the full day to the car it just doesn't work out like that but let's get back to work boys let's get it yeah I'm tired just finished eating dinner and everything so I'm exhausted but in any case let's slap on this crossbar now get this done this part done with
just using one of the shipping boxes to slide my thing underneath. And once it's centered, I'll be able to pull it up. guys so the front crossbar is on it is done it's late my battery's dying even for my little flashlight my phone battery died so I am practically working on E right now but at the end of the day I definitely wanted to get this done so am I glad it's done hell yeah that means tomorrow hopefully tomorrow if I'm not too tired I'm definitely gonna try to fit some in I want to go ahead and put on the brakes already <laughs> But at least for now, the entire suspension is done. Um, it's pretty much good to go. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. We'll definitely touch basis on the next video. That way you guys can see the big break hit. But for now, it's time to eat, it's time to sleep, and it's time to take a bath. So, man, you can even hear it in my voice. I know I, I can notice it. But in any case, guys, have a beautiful night. Enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't joined the vlogs, if you haven't joined the build, definitely smash that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, if you like the content, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And like always, think for the future, enjoy your present, and don't focus too much on the past. Peace.